So over the past couple days, there's been a lot of discussion around Bernie Sanders and Joe Rogan, specifically because Joe Rogan essentially endorsed Bernie Sanders, calling him a man of consistency and principle and honor, saying that he trusts Bernie Sanders and a whole bunch of other really nice things. And then especially because through official campaign channels, Bernie Sanders has highlighted Joe Rogan's kind words. And a lot of people have been saying that in doing this, Bernie Sanders Sanders is wrong because he's associating with somebody like Joe Rogan who has troubling views on many particular issues. But I have to say, even though I agree with many of those people who view Rogan and some of his views as at the very least problematic, I disagree with their assertion that Bernie should not highlight this endorsement. Bernie did the right thing here by not only going on to Joe Rogan a few months ago, but accepting this endorsement and highlighting it. Bernie Sanders is doing the thing that people have often criticized him for not doing, which is broad coalition building. One of the traditional narratives against Bernie is that he's too rigid, he's too pure, he's too ideological, he's too dogmatic. And when you add all of that together, it means that Bernie Sanders is quote-unquote unwilling to compromise, unwilling to meet people, unwilling to build beyond the left bubble. And that's the whole point that a lot of people have made about why Bernie Sanders can't win the nomination or that if he somehow does win the nomination, he won't win the general. He's too pure and rigid and dogmatic. And yet when Bernie Sanders reaches beyond that bubble, they say that doing so is problematic and he's highlighting and he's legitimizing problematic figures. But all of that is wrong here for so many reasons. First, Rogan needs no legitimization. He's one of the biggest people in podcasting, one of the biggest voices on the internet, a massive voice in American and in many ways world culture. He's already legitimate, whether or not Bernie Sanders had anything to do with them. Joe Rogan is legitimate. Full stop. So we can leave that point aside. But Bernie Sanders hasn't actually moved towards Joe Rogan on any particular issue. It's not like Bernie Sanders got this endorsement. It's not like Bernie Sanders got these kind words because he started to adopt positions held by Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan himself said that Bernie's basically been who he is for 30, 40 years. And yet Rogan still endorsed him and Rogan knows, or at the very least, Rogan doesn't think it's important that Bernie Sanders likely doesn't agree with him on certain social issues, that Bernie Sanders has more of a progressive bent on those issues. And yet Rogan still wants to endorse him. So in many ways, it's Rogan endorsing Bernie and moving to Bernie. It's not Bernie courting Rogan. Bernie highlighting the endorsement is purely a tactical move to demonstrate that a man with literally millions of followers, maybe tens of millions of followers, endorses him and why he endorses him. A man who is specifically popular amongst young white men, young men in general, more men than women, the kind of people who you want to ensure don't fall down the alt-right rabbit hole or go to Trump or both. Bernie Sanders is reaching those people. Bernie Sanders made no compromise to get Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan is the one compromising, if anything. Bernie Sanders is a hardcore, quote unquote, SJW social progressive. And Rogan went to him despite that. Rogan's the one compromising here. Rogan's followers would be the one compromising if they went to Bernie. Bernie Sanders has demonstrated this ability. To go into spaces that traditional neoliberal fake woke progressives deem verboten and actually win people over. Rogan show goes to West Virginia coal miner meetings, had that town hall on Fox News, and he was always called out for it. But at the end of the day, Bernie Sanders won people over. He didn't win everyone, of course. But he won people over. And I noted this in my previous video where I talked about Rogan saying that he really liked Bernie. And what I said then, and I still believe that today, is that when Bernie Sanders goes into these spaces, he's speaking to people that don't really know the traditional left wing dichotomy because the neoliberals have for so long dominated both parties. And so for them, 
Left-right politics is exclusively all about a narrow list of hot-button social issues. And those issues are important. And I'm on the left basically on all of them. But the reality is economic issues have often been ignored or at least overshadowed because of that broad neoliberal consensus. And when Bernie goes to coal miners and when Bernie goes to Fox News working class Republicans and actually explains to them what a democratic socialist president would do, what a left wing economic vision would do, my goodness, they like it. Maybe he won't flip them all over. Maybe they'll still vote for Trump. But my goodness, do they finally see a man who speaks to their core economic anxieties. And none of that is to say that the social issues faced by marginalized people are a distraction or are irrelevant. But it is to say that Bernie Sanders, who's been a champion on all of those issues before any of the woke neoliberals were either alive or before they evolved on those issues is precisely the man that can stay consistent to social progressives while venturing into spaces to build those broad coalitions with people who maybe aren't with us on those issues, at least yet. Bernie Sanders did the right thing going on Rogan. Bernie Sanders did the right thing highlighting the Rogan endorsement. Bernie is doing the things he needs to do to build a broad coalition to defeat Donald Trump, And to build a better society. Everyone needs to get on board right now. Unite behind the man to do the job. And start doing the hard work.